So let's look at Nikifor number three on the midterm two finals. Um, this is just finding the inverse function. Okay, we want to find the inverse function of this thing here. G of x is this. And they tell us the domain is x greater than or equal to three. Now they don't say to find the range, domain and range. So there's probably a reason why they said that. So we'll see what that is. Um, they just say find the inverse function, right? G negative one of x. Okay. So first we'll call G Y, because it's easier to write Y all the time than G of X. So Y is equal to negative three X squared plus 18 X. Now they say G negative one of X. We could right now switch the X's and Y's or leave it as a function of Y and switch it later. It doesn't really matter. Or, or leave it as a function of Y. It doesn't really matter. Um, so let's just leave it like this is now. And now we're going to solve for x. We want to know what x is as a function of y. But we have an x squared and an x, right? And we want x. So we know we're going to probably use a quadratic formula. So let's put the y over here. So what we end up having is negative 3x squared plus 18x minus y equals 0. We want to solve for x. And we just use a quadratic formula. Um, so x is equal to negative b, so negative 18, um, plus or minus square root of b squared, uh, 18 squared, 18 squared is, I should know that, 324, so 324 minus 4a is negative 3, c is negative y, make my square root bigger, divided by 2a, 2a is negative 6. I could have multiplied through with a negative right in the beginning, and that's always nice to not have a negative number for the, for the a, because you get these negatives going on, and just change the sign there since that's zero, where I could have made this positive 3, negative 18, positive y. It would have been the same thing, but it doesn't matter. This works. Okay, so let's figure this out. This thing then is negative 6, negative 18, but that's 3. That's nice. 3 plus or minus. Inside the parentheses, this is, we can't get rid of that, right? So it's this, and we have the negative 6 in the bottom. So it's the square root of 324. Let's see, it's minus, minus, minus. So it's going to be a minus. Those cancel, we have a minus. So minus. 12y minus 12y and this is divided by negative 6 negative 6 okay um, they say domain x greater than or equal to 3 that means the range of our inverse function is uh, y the range of our function is y greater than or equal to 3 Okay, so this thing has to be greater than or equal to 3. That means this is a 3, so we have to add a positive number to it. So therefore, we choose the minus, since it's minus the negative, right? So minus the negative is a positive. So anyway, but which ends up being plus. So we choose that, so it'll be 3 plus the square root. And we could probably do something fancy with the 6 inside there make it a 36 and put it inside, but you don't really need to do that. So I'm just going to say 1 6 square root of 324 minus 12y. Okay, and again, now we know this is always going to be greater than or equal to 3. Because right, the domain of our original function is the range of our function. This has to be bigger than 3 um, or equal to 3. So that'll be equal to 3 with y makes that 0. Okay, so that is our function now. They say find it as a function of x. So then all you do is change that y to an x. So g negative 1 of x would be to change the y to an x. So it looks like a normal function. Normal functions are having x's in it. Um, you know, that that's, doesn't really matter. So, okay, cool. Not too bad. Yeah. All right.